come to page number 4.18. Problem number one. Calculate the amount of purchases if cost of goods sold is rupees eighty thousand seven hundred. Opening inventory is five thousand eight hundred, and closing inventory is six thousand. See problem number one. Page number four point one eight. Problem number one. Calculate the amount of purchases if cost of goods sold is eighty thousand seven hundred, opening inventory is five thousand eight hundred, closing inventory is six thousand. Can you calculate the amount of purchases? Yes. Write down an equation in your notebook. Opening stock. Add purchases. Minus closing stock opening stock add purchases minus closing stock is equal to cost of goods sold. I am assuming that expense are not there. Okay. Now I want purchases no from that equation. So keep opening stock and closing stock to the other side. Purchases is equal to Cost of goods sold plus closing stock minus opening stock. Cost of goods sold plus closing stock minus opening stock. Opening stock plus purchases. Minus closing stock is equal to cost of goods sold. I want purchases. Purchases is equal to cost of goods sold plus closing stock minus opening stock. What's the cost of goods sold value given to you in the problem? Eighty thousand seven hundred plus closing stock value. Minus opening stock value. Eighty thousand nine hundred is the value of purchases. See problem number two. Textbook. I see a textbook. Self examination questions. Bit number two. Average inventory is twelve thousand. Closing inventory is three thousand more than opening inventory. What is the value of closing inventory? Average inventory is twelve thousand. Closing inventory is three thousand more than opening inventory. What is the value of closing inventory? What is average inventory first of all? Opening stock plus closing stock by two. Opening stock plus closing stock by two is called as average stock. Average stock, you know. Closing stock, you know. You are saying closing stock is three thousand more than opening stock, and I want to find out closing stock. Write down a very simple equation in notebook. What do I want to find out? Closing stock. Write down closing stock is equal to X. Because I want to know closing stock. No, closing stock is X rupees. What is opening stock then? X minus three. Absolutely wrong answer. Right on. Opening stock. Now, a relationship between closing stock and opening stock is given. Closing stock of inventory is three thousand more than opening stock. Closing stock is three thousand more than opening stock. Can I say opening stock is three thousand less than closing stock? If closing stock says opening stock, I am three thousand more than you. Opening stock will say I am three thousand less than you. Right on. Opening stock is x minus three thousand. Opening stock is x minus three thousand minus. Okay, average inventory is equal to opening stock plus closing stock by two. Write down the formula.
average stock is equal to opening stock plus closing stock by 2. What is average stock? 12,000. What is opening stock? X minus 3,000. Closing stock? X by 2. Set this 2 to this side. 12,000 into 2 is equal to plus x plus x 2x minus 3,000 24,000 is equal to 2x minus 3,000 2x is equal to 24,000 plus 3,000 2x is equal to 27,000 x is equal to 13,500 
nil. Two purchases. One lakh. Buy sales. How much is sales? Buy closing stock. Question mark. Two gross profit. It is 20% on cost. Can you tell me the corresponding percentage on sales? If profit is 20% on cost, it should be 16.67 percentage on sales. Or use this equation. Any of doubt? C plus P is equal to S. Profit is how much? 20 percent. On what? On what? On what? On cost. Sales should be what? 120. Now this should be equal to this. I want profit. If 120 is equal to 90,000, Twenty is equal to how much? If one twenty is equal to ninety thousand, twenty is equal to how much? How much is it? This divided by this into this. How much is it? Fifteen thousand. So gross profit is fifteen thousand. Now calculate the value of closing stock. Balancing figure. Problem number six. Books of T Limited reveal the following information. Books of T Limited reveal the following information. Particulars. Opening inventory 6 lakhs. Purchases during the year 34 lakh. Sales during the year 48 lakh. Opening stock 6 lakh. Purchases during the year 34 lakh, sales during the year 48 lakh. So you are given opening stock data, purchases data, sales data. This information is definitely useful for preparing a trading account. On 31st March 2011, the value of inventory as per physical inventory taking was 3 lakh 25,000. So on 31st March, as per physical counting, as per what? Physical counting. What was the value of stock? 3,25,000. The company's gross profit on sales has remained constant at 25%. The management of the company suspects, the management of the company suspects that some inventory might have been pilfered by a new employee. The new employee has stolen some stock. They have doubt. What is the estimated cost of missing inventory? How do I know? They are asking us to solve. You are given some stock value, you know? Physical counting, what was the value of stock? 3 lakh? Now, my question is, it is after theft or before theft? After. So after theft has taken place, remaining stock you have counted. My question is, the question wants you to calculate how much stock has been stolen by the new employee. So what we can do is, let us temporarily assume we don't know the value of closing stock. Let us try to find out what should have been the value of closing stock. Then we we'll compare it with what is the actual closing stock. Difference is ask the employee to explain. Okay. We will hand him over in the nearest PS police station. Look at the board. I will prepare trading account. For what year? 10, 11, no? Two opening stock. Tell me what was the opening stock? Six lakh. Purchases? Thirty-four lakh. Sales? Forty-eight. 
for the A pack. By closing stock, let us assume we don't know closing stock. Gross profit. Company is making how much gross profit every year? See that profit. Company is making a gross profit of 25 percentage on sales every year. On sales every year, company is making gross profit of 25 percent. 48 lakh into 25 percent, how much is it? 12 lakh. According to this trading account, what should be the value of closing stock? How did I get that gross profit? As it clearly says, companies every year selling gross profit at the rate of 25 percent. 48 lakh into 25 percent, it is 12 lakh. What is the value of closing stock now? Tell me. Four lakhs. Four lakhs. So according to our calculation, this should have been the value of closing stock. But what is the actual value of closing stock? Three lakh twenty-five thousand. So what is the value of stock stolen by our new employee? Seventy-five thousand. Right down. Stock value as per our books should have been four lakh. Stock value as per our books should have been 4 lakh, but physical stock is only 3 lakh 25,000. Stock value as per our books should have been 4 lakh, but physical stock is only 3 lakh 25,000. Value of stock stolen is 75,000. Value of stock stolen is 75,000. Come to problem number 7. No break. After my class, we can have a break. C Limited recorded the following information as on 31st March 2011. C Limited recorded the following information as on 31st March 2011 Inventory on 1st April 2010 80,000 Purchases 1 lakh 60,000 Sales 2 lakh Opening stock on 1st April 2010 is 80,000 Purchases is 1 lakh 60,000 Sales is 2 lakh It is noticed that goods worth rupees 30,000 were destroyed due to fire Against this, the insurance company accepted a claim of 20,000. It was noticed that during the year, goods worth rupees 30,000 were destroyed by fire. Against this, insurance company accepted a claim for 20,000. Now tell me, what is the entry right for goods damaged in fire? Goods lost by fire account, get R2 trading account. With what price? Cost price. Then you pass one more entry. When insurance company takes over the goods, what is the entry you pass? Insurance company account at R2 goods lost by fire with the claim amount. With what amount? Claim amount. So you are given both the cost price of goods damaged by fire and you are also given the claim amount. Examiner wants to know whether you know what to write in the trading account. The company sells goods at cost plus 33.33 percentage. Profit is 33.33% on cost. Tell me the corresponding profit percentage on sales. Profit is 33.33% on cost. It is equal to 25% on sales. Next. The value of closing inventory after taking into account the above transactions is how much? Now they want you to calculate the value of closing stock. Let us try to do it. Let us prepare a small trading account. You are given information for what period, please tell me? You are given information for 10-11 only. 
trading account 10 11 tell me opening stock figures opening stock how much 80000 purchases 1 lakh 60000 buy sales how much 2 lakh buy sales 2 lakh goods lost by fire Goods damage in fire accident, what is the cost price? 30,000 rupees. What is it real right? Goods damaged by fire account, retar to trading account. Or goods lost by fire account, retar to trading account. By goods lost in fire. How much? 30,000. Goods lost in fire. 30,000. Cost price of record. Claim amount will show it in the goods lost by fire account. Difference will be transferred to profit and loss account, but not affected trading account. Then, two gross profit, 33.33 percentage on cost or 25 percentage on sales. So, what is sales figure? Two lakh. 25 percent on that. How much? Fifty thousand. Closing stock will be balancing figure. Balancing figure, how much is it? So we'll continue solving problems in tomorrow's class. Tomorrow we should finish inventory valuation, then we'll start company accounts.